Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If I look like I'm wearing the same stuff as my last video, it's because I am. Uh, I've just finished recording it. It was a lot quicker than I expected, because it's my own stupid fault why I had the issue, but go and check it out, you'll see why. Um, today's video is on these, which is an OBD reader. I'm sure you know what an OBD port is. Um, I've got one and it's an Xtrons one. I'll leave a link in the description because I've got an Xtron CD player um, and you can get it to where the Xtrons on your OBD connects to your Xtrons on there so you can have all your data read out not to 60 times um, boost pressures on your actual screen which is really cool you just need to download the app which is called Talk Light um, I'm going to try and show you on my phone, so hopefully there will be a screen recording um, coming up on my phone of how... Right, so hopefully you can hear me what I've got my screen recording on my phone. This is the first time I've used it, so bear with me. So if you go down to... Um, we talk, yeah, here, talk a lie, and we're all looking at T to see if Tinder's on here. It's not. Um, so you click on this, blah, blah, open that. Right, now this is the cool feature. So you've got your blank screen like this. You can go on settings, and if you add a display, you can, you can put it in whatever you want. So you can put a dial, graph, or display. So say I was to put a dial of an engine RPM. I'll have a bit medium. And that is my rev. So if I start the car. Should connect automatically. There you go. Uh, my car is idling. I'll get it on my other camera as well, so you can see it's idling at 1,500 revs. Now you should be able to see on the other camera, which should be on the screen now, is idling at that sort of. And then if you just blip the throttle, it, it is pretty good. pretty accurate there's all kinds of stuff on it so I've already got something set up so not to 60 ready acceleration I've got on a graph you can see it all on here the vacuum pressure PGs we don't really want to look at that it's disgusting and um, speed uh, I did have a boost pressure on a thing and not 60 so I kind of want to go and test out this not to 60 and see um, how accurate it is, how it works. So we're going to head out. I'll keep my display recording, and we'll basically just go out for a little drive and see, yeah, see if it all adds up and works. Right, I don't know if I can come. This is a bit dodgy. It's on a, it's, it's on a turn, but can we come to a complete stop? Right, that's a complete stop. seconds from from turning is uh, is not bad <laughs> so it, it does work um, uh, where I can try it is up this massive hill in a bus stop I try to launch it up here but I turn traction control off it's probably not going to work that well Oh 
always only got that as a view from outside the car. It just spins up all four tyres. <laughs> 5.6 seconds up a big hill. Um, yeah, that's quite good. <laughs> yeah, I do like this thing. Um, so yeah, that is basically the OBD, how it works. Um, I'm actually really happy with it. I'll because I'll put I'll put the the data on the screen, obviously, with the onboard footage of uh, what we're doing. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys back at the house. Well, after maybe one more pull of this hill. As long as you can't see my speed. Huh? guys back home now uh, just editing the footage from today thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video um, they're so cheap these OBD equipment are like six seven quid off eBay some of them I'll leave links in the description to a few different ones they all work the same um, go get yourself one of really good fun to play about with uh, so hopefully you enjoyed please leave a like it helps a lot and don't forget to subscribe um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.